Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi! Um, my name is Brighton and I am a part-time reseller. Um, I resell on all the platforms. All my links will be in my description. And today we're going to be unboxing a ThreadUp DIY 5-pound jewelry box. This one is coming from Swanee, Georgia. And let's get into it. Um, I want to say this is one of my newer, more recent boxes. Guys, I was able to snag a box about two, three weeks ago, three weeks ago. Um, the box still has not shipped. <laughs> I've actually been getting emails from ThreadUp asking, do you want to cancel your order? Do you want to cancel your order? And I'm like, no, no, I do not want to cancel my order. Why in the world would I want to cancel my order after... Oh, this one's taped. That's weird. Um, after, you know refreshing all day to get one <laughs> this one is from january 10th i think that says 10th or 11th um 10th and these retail or these um are 48 dollars plus 10 dollars shipping plus tax it comes out to being about 63 dollars for me um with everything all in i've never seen them when they keep it like this before so i wonder if that's like a new thing they're gonna start doing Ooh, I see a bracelet that looks like, kind of looks like um, Michael Kors or like a Kate Spade. Oh, no, it's not. And if that's what I think it is, I know who's going to want that. <laughs> that's a good thing I haven't shipped out her box yet. Oh my god, <laughs> guys. Um, do you see that? Do you see that? That says Tiffany & Co. Holy moly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Guys, that says Tiffany & Co. Okay, if that's real, that's insane. I see Pandora right here. And then um, this looks like a Henry Bindel. So, Henry Bindel. So this, I can already say, is going to be a crazy box. Um, Just from those three things. So there's the little Tiffany logo. Here's the Pandora. And this is the Henry ben Bendel. So that is crazy. All right, I am going to um, stop recording. I'm going to go take a couple pictures for my thumbnail, and I'll be right back. All right, I went ahead and took a couple pictures. So let's get into it, guys. I am super excited about this. Um, Wow. So... They like to take up, tape up their box. That looks like the rustic cuff logo, I think, right there. This is crazy. I am. You have no idea. Oh, also, guys, people, people, um, are commenting like, why do I put things like off to the side? Um, I have these little containers. Let me zoom out a little bit. Um, I do have these little containers. They're just they're light. I don't know if they're like called anything particular, but they have like little the dip in the front, and you know, I have one that's like. Um, me resell one that's like I'm not sure about I have like my craft that goes right back in the box and then I have like my sterling that goes over to the side that we will test at the end of the video so and a couple of people ask me why I put things to the side I'm putting them in these little buckets so there's that all right so let's pull out where is that Tiffany <laughs> where's the Tiffany okay I don't know where the Tiffany is in here so I guess we'll get to it when we get to it which will be exciting. So keep watching, guys. Don't fast forward till the Tiffany. Gotta watch the whole thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that's crazy. Um, it's like a lot of tangles, which is all right. Usually tangles mean there's something good. Sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes this is pretty. Um, yeah, for the most part, tangles mean good. Okay, there is, that's a lot. Let's pull that up and get to untangling. I do have my Presidium. I just calibrated it. We'll we'll see how, you know, it goes. This is marked, I think. Maybe not. Very long. I think this is a purse strap. Um, I see no maker's marks. But it is a faux pearl, very long um, purse strap. Anyone is interested in that, just be five dollars. Again, nice little purse strap. Okay, this is interesting. These are nuts, I want to say. 
I'm not really sure what those are. And these are like sliced. The same bead, but like sliced, but much bigger, obviously. So we have like green, red, yellow. I don't think these beads are sterling. We will test it just to make sure. But um, we have that little necklace. Test it. Okay, we have a little ear cuff. Earrings go off to the side. Once we find matches, then we'll go over them. This little ring is not marked anything. It is a size seven, uh, six and a half. We will just do $3 on that. Really pretty little ring. $3 on that one. Okay, we have an earring. We have another earring. Earring that kind of looks like it could be silver. Um, we have a bracelet that is marked plunder. So it goes like so. It says um, pray. It says pray. Please note it does have a little bit of scratching. It is marked plunder right there. Let's just do $4 for the plunder bracelet. Opens like so easy on and off. $4 for that one. It's like a broken bride earring. It's craft. Um, anything that I say is craft um, would just be a dollar unless I say otherwise. For the most, most part, it's just a dollar. Um, we have a little bat earring. How adorable is that? Um, this is Mart with Roman numerals. Really pretty dainty. These are real pearls. A little potato pearl, little freshwater pearls. And there's like Roman numerals on the coin. And then it is Mart. Oh, I know I've seen that mark before. Is that KL? NY SL I know I've seen that mark before I will have to do a little bit of research on that hopefully I'll have something on the screen if not I am sorry but we will test that just to make sure it's not silver I actually don't see a clasp on it so that's interesting okay so we have that a little bead this is a plunder and they're little hearts how perfect would this be for valentine's day or mother's day um let's do four dollars on the plunder it's pretty okay next we have a melinda maria which i believe was the brand of um those really pretty opal hoop earrings that um christina over at senior resale actually purchased i'll link her channel right here check out christina she has awesome videos but um i believe she got my hoop earrings so oh but it looks like it's oh no it's not so it has a little blue stone here and then little clear stones throughout it is marked melinda maria so i will have to do a little bit of research on that one um, we have a pendant that is Mart 925, I believe Italy. So the clasp is marked 925 Italy. So we have this very dainty silver chain and this little like um, halo open circle of um, stones. I would assume cubic zirconias. All right, guys, this is going straight to diamond. Let me show you. Right. It's at sapphire. All right. I have it on it right now. It's at ruby sapphire, but when I tested it earlier, it went straight to diamond. Oh, there it goes. It is right in diamond. So that is crazy. So hopefully um, after I finish filming, I can retest that just to make sure. But those are testing as diamonds. So yay, little diamond pendant on a sterling chain. That's exciting. We will, of course, test it. All right. This gives me major Scaparelli vibes. That's really cool. Okay, we have a hoop earring. That kind of looks like it matches the pendant, but I don't see any markings. This is really pretty. 
Guys, I don't know what I did with my magnet, so we will have to like test things I think might be silver because I just used my magnet in another room and of course I forgot to bring it out. <laughs> so this is something. It is a lariat. It's very long, very, very long, probably like six probably like 60 inches or so. Um, and it just, you know, it was open in the front and you would just like little, make a little knot in it and wear it like so. I don't think this is sterling, but I will test it and I will put a price on the screen. Okay, this is marked something. I want to see what it was marked. Chan Lu. Chan Lu. All right, so what are we tangled up with? I'm not sure. Oh, it's a tangled in this little. There we go. Okay, so it is just a little sterling silver chain that is marked Chan Lu. Now it is tangled right here and right here. It's a little knot. Um, so I'm sure it's a little bit longer than whatever measurement I'm about to give on it is. All right, I found my magnet and my tape measure. Took me a while. So this is not magnetic, by the way, this, um, really long, um, tie the knot is magnet. So if anyone's interested, I would just do $4 on that necklace. Um, this little Chan Lu though, this little Chan Lu chain, which again is a little bit of a knot is sitting at 14 inches plus a two ish inch extender. So, um, I will obviously try to untangle that and I will have a price on the screen. Chan Lu, yay. And we will, of course, test it. Okay, we have a really fun and odd earring there. All right. We have a really nice... I feel like we're really zoomed in. I don't know if that's too far away or not, but it, I felt like it was really close. So I wanted to back up a little bit. Okay. Um. Ooh, this is a really pretty earring. Gives me major Kendra Scott vibes. It's like a faceted um, black cat's eye. Very pretty. Very pretty earring there. We have a little cat. It's hilarious. Ooh, look at this. This looks like it could be silver. This little sterling maybe um strawberry. And a little heart. Super cute. This looks like it could be a piece of mother pearl. Really pretty. We have this really pretty earring. We have this little skull, which I believe this is Betsy Johnson. That's really cute. Um, okay. So that's that. Oh, we have this, we have that, we have that. So I think I have a match to this one. We have a match to that. All right, I think that's a little bit better. I think third's the charm. Third time's the charm. Okay, so matte gold. It gives me major designer vibes. Don't see any maker's marks on it at gold tone texture necklace again it does have somewhere like under like where the links like um rub up against each other but of course you don't see that when you wear it so it is an 18 inch length so 18 inches um and that's really pretty all right not sure what happened there um <laughs> we're back for the third time it felt like okay Got this untangled. I think I was saying I have been trying to give you guys really good subscriber prices. Obviously much less than what I were to list them for. This is a charming Charlie piece. It has um, all of the stones are present. So let's just do five dollars. This is a really pretty charming Charlie. Major, um, you know, J. Crew vibes for sure. That is just stunning. And all the stones are there. $5 for that one. But yeah, I'm trying to give, you know, give you guys some good deals. Trying to get jewelry out of my house. This is marked Serafina, which I believe is sold at Anthropology. A really pretty, like, tennis bracelet. Very dainty. Um, not really sure how much Serafina jewelry goes for. I know it retails crazy. Oh, look, it's testing for glass. Yay. I must have, I must have calibrated right this time. Um, so they're probably CZs. Um, it is six and a half, seven or seven and a half inch. 
So six and a half, seven or seven and a half. If anyone likes a Serafina, I will have a price on the screen for the Serafina. Okay. These look like they are all agates of some kind. This actually chain looks like it could be silver. Um, lots of tangles, which is, hey, that is the name of the game, which is why I love these boxes. They just are a little tricky to get around. So it has this really cool like textured bead in the middle. These look like agates. They are moving up, but they're going away in the glass. All right, I'm not sure about this. It's testing as glass, but they definitely look like real natural stones to me. Um, the stretch is very tight. Um, I would say this probably is best to fit like a six and a half. Maybe a seven, but I would definitely say like six and a half. Um, let's do $4 for the natural stones. Really pretty. If that doesn't sell, I will keep those stones to craft with. All right, next we have this earring. These little hoops, they're like a little ear threader hoop. Um, meaning you would put them through your ear and you would wear them like so. They could be sterling. They're not magnetic, so I would say they're probably sterling. And um, we will test those and hopefully I have a price on the screen. So hopefully we can test those and there'll be a price. We'll thread our hoops. Okay, this I believe is the Rustic Cuff logo right there. Um, take a mental picture of it because sometimes they're only marked with that logo. Um, but this is an adjustable bracelet. Rustic Cuff is very expensive retail and some resell. Um, let's do $6 on the Rustic Cuff. Really pretty. Six dollars. That one's a good one. All right. Let's see. This is a necklace. It's marked with a little rhinestone. There's a little bit of wear on the um, the rings, but the clasp looks like it's in really good condition, and the chain looks like it's in good condition. And it's like a mixed media, so it has like this really pretty um, pendant with these faux turquoise and faceted like sapphire blue. With these little coin dangles, little cha cha charms. This is a long one. This one is 34 inches plus the extender. Let's do $5 on this one. Really pretty. Okay. This is Mart. Ooh, this is Madewell. So we have a Madewell. There's a Madewell M. It is a flat like herringbone chain. This is very on trend right now. Um, I should do like a trend, like what the trends are. I try to say in my videos, like what I see other celebrities are wearing, what I see like when I'm at the browsing the newspapers. This is about 15 inches plus a three inch extender. So 15 to 18. Um, but basically it's layering, 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 layering dainty chains on top of dainty chains on top of natural stones. That's really what's on trend right now. Also bold statement earrings. So if anyone is interested in this made well, let's just do $8. It's a nice one. So yeah, um, I do want to do another auction video coming soon. This is Mark something another auction live. This is marked lovely. I'm assuming that is a brand. Um, there's these really pretty, they look like they could be natural stones, like a coral maybe. Um, again, I don't know it, but let's just do $4 for that one. Okay. It looks like we have to match to these really pretty hoops. Um, they are an inch and a quarter. Again, hoops are very on trend right now as well. Um, people are loving hoops um, and they're actually doubling hoops. So you would have like a big hoop on your bottom, like your lobe hole. And then you'd have like a like smaller mini hoops up the ear. That's really on trend right now too. Stunning with rhinestones all the way around the whole hoop, all the way around. 
I'm sure these are probably like $50 new. They kind of look like the, um, the Brilliance by Swarovski. They kind of remind me of that. And if so, these are like $50 retail. Let's do $5 on these. They are probably Brilliance by Swarovski, but they're not Mart. But let's just do $5 for these stunning hoops, inch and a quarter. Those are nice. Okay. We have a little sterling chain, it looks like. If I can figure out how to untangle it. Guys, we haven't even gotten to the Tiffany, and this box is already really good. So that little sterling chain, let's see if we can untangle the rest. Show you guys. Look at these little bats. Oh, I love bats. Um, Like fake ones, not real ones. Um, Really pretty little bat earrings. They look very Betsy to me. Let's just do um, $3 for these little bats. Perfect for Halloween, obviously, but still really cute. Okay, then we have this little um, kids bracelet. It is little macaroons, macrons. Really cute. Go back to my niece. All right, this is marked. Let's see what it's marked. Holy moly. <laughs> It is marked Avery. It is marked Avery. Avery Sterling. If you don't know what Avery is, that is James Avery. Wow. Okay, this is a James Avery chain. This is crazy. Okay. Um, It's 16 inches. And we will obviously be testing that. But that is marked Avery, which is wild. That's crazy. I've only gotten James Avery a very few times. So every time I get it, I'm like floored. Um, I feel like it's mostly like a Texas brand. Like it's very, it's like a made in Texas kind of very well-known brand in Texas. But obviously everyone everywhere can buy it. This has a little bit of wear. So let us be a dollar. It's a little initial A necklace. Okay, next we have another little dainty necklace like this layered with that um with that herringbone would be really pretty that's so nice it's a little textured triangle the chain is like a polished silver or a polished gold and the pendant is a matte gold and let's do the plunder for four dollars nice and then we have all oh, these little um italian charm bracelets so this is marked um family friends it says friends on it and they are marked uh, Friends, F-I-R-E-N-Z-E. -E. Um, so that is very cute. It'd be really cute if anyone's going to see Taylor Swift in concert. That's like a little friendship bracelet. So I will look into that. A little tassel earring. Okay, so that's everything that we've pulled out so far. So far, I'm thrilled. Chan Lu, James Avery diamonds <laughs> i am thrilled with everything we've pulled out so far let's pull out some more hoping we can get that um tiffany piece <laughs> i want to see that tiffany piece really bad all right there's that oh no wait a minute. let's pull out these Okay. Ah, let's pull that back. Okay. We have a little ring. It is marked Elizabeth and James. Unfortunately, it is missing a stone. Elizabeth and James, if you don't know, that is Mary Kate and Olsen, the twins that like took over in like the 90s, 2000s. Um, that is their like fashion brand. Um, hopefully we'll see about that. So we have little earrings. Okay, this, <laughs> I think I know who is already going to want this. It, it, it is, it is a Henry Bendel. Henry Bendel, Henry Bendel, however you say it. It is a gold tone. Now there is some wear. I'll have to see if I can clean it up. It almost reminds me of Cartier. They're all like little screws. And it is marked on the clasp as well. Henry Bendel has this really cool, like, etching almost like a texture on the side do you see that 
And this side is, doesn't have it, but this side does. I'm not sure about that. Um, yeah, a Henry Bindle. Let's see. Ooh, it just barely fits me. This is a straight seven. This is a straight up seven. Um, this may not fit, Christina. Oh no, it's stuck, guys. <laughs> guys, it's stuck. I can't get it off. Oh, guys, that scared me. <laughs> I could not get it off my hand. Um, it was so tight. So I'm not sure if it's intentional distressed on this side. So this is a big question mark on that. That is interesting that they put that in here. So bindle bracelet. Okay, next we have a... It's just like taped. Okay. It says S925. So that's a good sign. All right, it says he, I don't even know, H-E-I-D-I-A-O, and then all in um, Chinese, I believe. So I think these are faux. Yes, these are faux pearls. So we will test the post and see if they're sterling. I wonder if these were pieces that they were going to put in mixed and then decided like not to, because that's kind of weird that they're in them. Yeah, this is a stunning, and I mean stunning, these are all crystal beads with clear rhinestones on each. Um, yeah, all the stones are there. So these little pretty rhinestones on every other spacer bead, and these are all faceted crystal. So that is stunning. Also, guys, this is the same ring that I offered up um, a couple weeks ago, and no one claimed it. It's a size 9, and if anyone's interested, it's $35. So, let's put it back out there again. Um, I've actually been wearing it with my Moonstone bracelet. So, loving my Moonstones. Um, if anyone's interested in this, we'll just do $4. Love all of those crystals. Okay, this looks like it could be maybe brain or sterling. It looks like either silver or silver plated. Um, it's a little tangled. There we go. Okay, so I think it goes like this. Has these really pretty embossed roses, a heart, and then more flowers. The clasp is marked 925. Um, oh, it's marked. Young Love. Young Love. That's all it's marked is Young Love on the inside. So I've never heard of that brand before. Um, I don't know if that's the brand or if that's just a saying. I will have to obviously have to do some research. Hopefully I will have some research and a price on the screen. But that is marked Sterling Silver, so we will test it. So we have all these little studs. Really pretty. Okay. Ooh, I love this earring. We have like this really blingy star. Perfect for 4th of July. Okay. We have a cuff bracelet. It has no markings. It does have some copper coming through on the back side of it. Um, no wear on the front side though, so you would never see the copper. So I think it's like an elongated, um, an elongated peace symbol. Kind of gives me lucky brand vibes. Let's just do four dollars for it. I'm wondering if that is lucky brand. Okay, next we have another cuff bracelet. Again, no maker's marks. I don't think this is no. Let's just do three dollars on this one. It's like an X. It is slightly bendable. Three dollars for that one. Okay, these look like natural stones. I don't know what they could be. So we have like a natural stone, frosted glass, faceted glass, silver tone, and then these more, these like natural, natural stone beads that don't go up. It's about an eight inch. So it's about eight inches. So it's on the larger side, but it does have like some bigger beads. So probably fit like seven and three quarters, but yeah. Let's do $4 for that one. OK, 
Okay, we have this stunning earring. Awesome. Then we do have the match to these. I'm going to Google lens these just to make sure they're not something crazy. But they are like a faceted, like gunmetal cat's eye stone. So very pretty. Okay. I'm looking for that Tiffany. Oh, I think we got the match to this little heart. This is craft. It's missing a stone. So I'm putting all the earrings. Oh, look, we got the match to this. Okay, I'm throwing all the earrings to the side. And we will go over them after we unbox everything else. Um, but since I already have this one here, let's check it over. I don't see any missing stones. Let's do $4 for these. They're really pretty. So it's rhinestones all around the star and then they fringe into the tassel and no markings, but let's just do four bucks. $4 for those. I like those. Okay. Next we have, well, this is broken, but I think it's an easy fix. Yeah. Oh no, it broke right off. So this is craft. If anyone likes all of these rhinestones, it would just be a dollar. If not, I'll just keep putting craft with them myself. Um, okay. Actually, um, let me know if you guys are interested in this because it's just been a thought that I've been thinking about doing that um, as I put things in craft, I will just sell all the craft pieces that I want to sell and I'll just put them in a bag and then just sell them as a craft bag. So let me know if anyone is interested in me doing that. This is marked ink. It also has a tag marked 3450. Um, now there is some scratching on these rhinestones. So since it's through a tags though, it does have some scratching. Let's just do $3. So $3 for that one. It's still really pretty. Okay. Next, we have the stunning bracelet. So it's clear and like emerald green rhinestones. And I don't see any missing stones. And I don't see any markings. Wow. Oh, it is marked. Banana Republic. I was not expecting that Banana Republic. So this is a stunner. Let's get a link. This one is about seven inches. Let's do $10. $10 for this Banera Public. It is absolutely stunning. Love that. Okay. Next we have that. Okay, we have what I call the bobble necklaces. I feel like everyone calls them that. That will just be a dollar. Although these are glass. These are all glass, guys. These are vintage. These are all glass beads. So that's really cool, actually. Um, but yeah, let's just do a dollar because there's wear on it. That's really heavy and really cold to touch. Ooh, I love this sunshine yellow. Oh, this is so pretty. This is probably a charming. Yep, yeah, it's a charming Charlie. But this is so pretty. This will be perfect for spring and summer. Layer that with some blue and some like pink and you got a perfect little stack. This is a Charming Charlie, so let's just do $3 on it. It's really pretty. I love that yellow. Okay, we have a ring. No maker's marks. It looks like it's in good condition. It is a size six and a quarter. Let's do $3 on it. It's like white and blue and coral. So that, we have a little boho earring. Thought we had the match, but maybe not. We have another like kind of chunky, oh, it's missing a stone. So that's a dollar. Or again, like I said, I can give a price for everything. Um, this is really pretty. That one will also just be a dollar. It's wearable though. It's, I wouldn't say it's crafted. It's definitely wearable. So we have another little bracelet, and this one is marked Itika. 
I um E T T I K A it Itica. Um they sell this at Reformation. It is a very expensive new brand. They did do a collection with um this R the RCZs. Um they did a collection with Fafit Fun with like some tassel earrings, but this I don't not believe it was part of that. So this probably has some good comps on it. Let's do five dollars. It's really pretty. I'm sure this like retailed for like 30, 40 bucks. Okay. Assuming. I don't know for sure. I'm just assuming. All right, let's see. Oh, this is okay. This is not marked. I thought for sure this would be a J. Crew. Wow. Okay. There is some one piece of hair. There we go. Um, that is really interesting. So it's like a gold tone with faux pearls. Let's just do three dollars on it. It really does remind me of a J. Crew piece. Really cool. Or even a Stella and Dot. Okay, and then these are matched. So let's go ahead and show these. These give me major anthropology vibes. Little tassels with like a peach um, rhinestone. Let's do $4 for those. Okay, and then let's dump the rest. Hopefully the Tiffany is... Ah, okay. Nothing left in here. So come on, Tiffany. <laughs> Please don't let it be a mirage. Okay. This is... Oh, this is Laura Janelle. And they're little kitty cats. Come on. I can't get it to... Okay, I have to untangle it off camera, this one. But it's a little kitty cat. And it says, um, Laura Janelle. And, um, I think her pieces are pretty pricey. Let's just do $5 since they're new on the card. Really pretty. Okay, and then we got Pandora. We love Pandora. I collect Pandora. It is not magnetic. That is a huge A+. Plus. Um, and if it is real, it should say A-L-E in the inside of the barrel. Which it is marked A-L-E-925 right in there. I don't know if you can see that. But yay! Um, let's see if it doesn't fit me. If it fits me, I'm keeping it. If it's not, I'll sell it. It does. And there's room for charms too. Which, guys, you always want to go up a size on Pandora. Um, so if you're a seven inch wrist, get a seven and a half. If you're a seven and a half, get an eight. Because once you add charms, the bracelet all, will obviously become smaller. So always go up at least a half a size, if not a full size up. So um, I will probably keep this, but if I decide to sell it, I will have a price on the screen. And of course, we will test it to make sure it's real. Okay. These are so boho. These are very cottage core, which if I list them, if they don't sell to you guys first, and if I list them as the keywords I will use, it is a matte gold tone with like a woven, um, very boho organic material. Very interesting. Very like Madewell vibes. Let's do $4 for those. Those are really interesting. We have that earring. This looks like J. Crew. If so, this could be like a rare one, guys. I've never seen this one before. And I come across a lot of J. Crew. Okay. Oh, look, we have a little match to the little strawberry. We will have to test that. Okay, these are all earrings. This looks like a real pearl, though. And it looks like there's some markings on the post. So this could be sterling. So we'll put that to the side. Um, let's put all of these to the side. Look, is this the match? Yes, okay, that's a match of that. Okay, so all these earrings are on the side. Oh, look how pretty that is. Um, I will match up the earrings and then come back to you with matches. Like, I know we got the match. Oh, look, the matching earring to that. Oh, look how pretty that little ring is. Okay, there's lots of fun stuff in here, guys. I love this box already. Okay, let's do this first. Being distracted. I'm very distracted. <laughs> this is a stunner. I 100% think this could be a rare one. Um, Let's see. I do think, oh, we have Druzy. I very rarely, I very rarely find J. Crew with Druzy. Um, it looks like all the stones are there. It looks like it's in very good condition. A little bit of wear, a little bit of wear. And it is marked J. Crew. And look how stunning this is. I mean, 
That is stunning. I will definitely have a price on the screen um, unless I can't find this and I'm still doing research because there's some J. Crew pieces that go for hundreds of dollars. I don't know if this is or not, but it could it could definitely be up there. So that is crazy. I love that. One of my favorite pieces. That and that Banana Republic bracelet are stunning. Okay, this is a ring. It is marked 925. It is a little piece of lapis with little floral details on either side. Kind of has a little bit of a native vibe to it. It's a five and a half. Five and a half. And I will have a price on the screen for that. And we'll test it. I know we have the match to this earring. Okay. I want to know where the Tiffany piece is. Guys, I don't see the Tiffany. Unless this is it right here. I don't think that's Tiffany. Is that Tiffany? I think Tiffany did do something very similar to that. Okay, that is very tangled. So we'll see. Ugh. Okay. Well, here's a ring. That is marked 925. I actually really like this band. Ooh, it fits me. You know what that means, guys. It means I want to keep it. <laughs> I like that. Um, it's probably about an eight and a quarter. Eight. I like that. It's very narrow. I'm going to keep that one. I like that. Okay. Ooh, guys, so we got Chanel? What? what <laughs> wow okay um there's the chanel logo oh, it goes like this hold on there we go like that it's like a little chanel perfume bottle almost so chanel i'm 100 percent saying this is fake so that's womp 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 but it's still really cool and it's not mark chanel anywhere so that's really cool but that's definitely, you know, tr someone's trying to, someone's trying to play the, the game. Oh, here's the, um, here's the Tiffany. <gasps> Tiffany and Co. Tiffany and Co. No engraving, which is insane. They're almost always engraved. Oh my goodness, guys. Please let this be real. <laughs> Please let this be real. Um, it is about a seven and a half. So you guys know what that means. I'm keeping it. So excited about this lot. Oh my gosh. James Avery, Tiffany. Oh my gosh. It fits me. <sighs> guys, it fits me. Oh my goodness. And I think this might be Tiffany too. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I'm in love. Okay. Um, let's test it. Let's test this and that James Avery really quickly. I think this is, I think this is real. I think this could be real. Oh, wow. Guys, I'm like shaking. Okay. Please, please, please be real. And of course, just testing it for silver is not going to say it's real. Um, it is, a, it is a very good factor. Um, but what I will do is look up, um, you know, obviously authentic, um, bracelet and I will check the spelling. I will check the spacing between each letter. I will see where it is on theirs. I will. So there's a lot of ways to test. Um, testing for silver is just one of them. It's like the first step because if it's not silver, it's obviously not real. Um, unless it's gold, but this would be silver if it's real. Which it is sterling. So, <gasps> yay. Okay, so that is a very, very, very good factor that it is real. Um, but again, I will obviously, guys, I can't get over this. Um, I obviously will be um, using, you know, I will get it authenticated just by going off of what is listed and what has sold, what is on their website, and making sure this is correct. This is 100% going to my collection and it will never be leaving out of my collection. I love Tiffany jewelry. I own several pieces of Tiffany, almost all of which have come from DIY boxes, by the way, guys. It's insane. 
I did get an awesome Tiffany chain from a subscriber. You know who you are. And I also got a, um, a Tiffany chain from a Shop Goodwill lot, which um, I will try and remember to link right here. Um, but that was a long time ago. That was like two years ago. Guys, when I go and watch my old videos, I literally cringe. I'm like, oh my god, who watched, who liked watching these old videos? <laughs> um, yes, it is Mark Tiffany Co. Elsa Peretti. Oh my goodness, guys. Tiffany Co. And the back should be marked too. No, the back is not marked. So I'll have to see what authentic ones are or not. Um, I'll have to see if it's supposed to be marked on the back. But that is marked Tiffany Co. on the front. It should be marked on the clasp. Let's see. E uh, I'm not sure if this one's real or not. Um, but here it's marked Tiffany Co. I've never seen this um, little tag before. It could be real. I've just never seen it uh, from the pieces that I own. And it's marked Peretti. Um, and then, of course, it is marked 925 on the clasp. Um, we will test it, obviously. We'll do it right now. And let's test the little, little, um, tag. Okay, let's test it. Again, testing it for silver is not 100% way of seeing if it's real or not. But again, it's like that first step. Oh, hmm. We might have a faker. Let's try, let's try that again. It's not testing as anything. It's not coming up as copper. And it's not coming off a silver. So let's do that one more time. I don't know, guys. It is glowing. You see that? But see, it's not glowing like that. It's glowing, but not super strong. Hmm. I will obviously get this checked out. This I do want to say is real. This is very this is this I don't think is fake. This one I'm thinking might be fake. I don't know. But if they all both end up being real, that's a crazy that's crazy. So let's clean that up. Also, guys. I use Dollar Tree Assured Pure Cotton Cotton Rounds when I do my, t um, to clean up my testing. They're really easy and it's $1.25 at the dollar store and you get like 90 of them. And I just do that. And then boom, it's ready for the next item. So anyone wants to know how I <laughs> clean my thing. Okay. So we have that earring. Okay. So... Hopefully that's real. Hopefully, I mean, it'd be crazy if there's some more Tiffany in here. Um, because this little chain actually kind of... Okay. Wouldn't that be crazy if there was more Tiffany, though? I don't think there is, but you never know. This is everything. I'm going to double check all those little studs just to make sure it's nothing crazy. Okay. I don't see anything. Okay. Um... This is a little clamper, has a little bit of wear on the inside. The outside's in really good shape. Well, you know, just some light scratching. Let's just do $2 on it. So that's cool. We have this little hoop. I want to say this is the sanctuary earring. I have had this earring multiple times. It's like the sanctuary hoop. We'll see if we get the match. This is a Jenny bird. This bracelet has a very high retail price. I want to say it's like over a hundred dollars retail. Uh, but unfortunately, it wasn't a Fat Fit Fun box, so comps on it, you know, are all over the board. For the most part, I want to say this probably resells right around that twenty-five to thirty-five mark. If I had to guess, 
Um, it has been a couple years since this was in the box. It goes from a seven to a eight and three quarters. Um, if anyone is interested in the Ginny Bird, let's just do $12. So $12 on this Ginny Bird. I'm sure this has like a crazy high retail and I will have it on the screen. But I think $12 is a really good price for that. All right, we have a hoop, hoop. Okay, these are all earrings put to the side. Okay, this looks like it could be something. Sarah Coventry. So that is something. So Sarah Cove. I'm not sure how to date that tag. I'm not well versed in the Sarah Cove world, but it's a very nice gold tone, gold plated, I'm sure, link. It is 30 inches, 29, 29 inches. Um, I'll have a price on the screen. I'm not really sure how much Sarah Cove gold chains go for. That's cool. We have some hoops. This will just be a dollar. Um, this pair has some wear, so that's craft. We have that earring. These are glass. Isn't that cool? So this is glass and rope. That's really interesting. Hmm. These are, yeah, these are all glass beads. We're going to test this chain to see if it's sterling. I don't think it is. Um, let's just do, oh, there's him here. Um, let's just do $5 on it. These are all glass beads. They're really pretty. Glass beads on a rope chain. Okay. Next we have this. This is crazy. Um, this says love. I think this is a headband. I think you would wear this on a headband because look, it has this elastic on the back. So I think this would go on your face or on your head, forehead. There we go. Um, let's just do $3 on it. Okay. This is a really pretty little bracelet. This could be celluloid. Oh, that could be celluloid. I don't know. Um, oh, it needs a new clasp, which I can fix. If anyone wants this, I can fix that clasp. Um, it goes from a seven and a quarter to a nine. Let's do $4 and I will replace the lobster claw if anyone wants it. If not, crap. Okay, let's see. This is Mart. No, it's not Mart. Hmm. At first, I thought it was Mart. But now I don't see it. Um, but it's like a little cameo. That's really pretty. A little portrait. Okay. This is craft. Earring, earring, earring. This could be sterling, maybe. Nope. Maybe. I'm not sure what that is. We have an earring. Oh, this looks like Kendra. Oh, it's Bobble Bar. Bobble Bar is coming for Kendra. Um, it has a lot of wear, unfortunately, on the back of the ring. So womp womp. It's pretty though. Okay. Ooh, these are pretty. These remind me of J. Crew for sure. Oh, these are very J. Crew. I don't see any mark, um, any maker's marks. Um, but there's like a faux tort. And it has like this gold um running through the middle these are very nice let's do um five dollars on these ones these ones are really cool five dollars for these hoops and they are a uh inch and a half inch and inch and a half inch and three quarters really nice i love those i bet those are j crew we have this little tassel all right let's see what is this Okay, we have this. This is Mart. Um, Madewell. So this is a Madewell M. It is a um, orange seed bead chain. Goes into like this like really cool like knot, which is intentional, I'm sure. 
and it goes into like this galvanized like steel pendant. So that's really cool. So from the from the knot, it's 16 inches plus a extender. Let's do again eight dollars for the made well. So eight dollars for that made well. It's nice. Okay, we have a ring. Um, no maker's marks. Um, and I think it's missing a couple. It's missing a stone. So that's going to go to craft. What? Put it to the side. They'll move that up. Um, look, we have that rhinestone. Ah, spider. Okay, we have earrings. This is a bangle. Has a lot of wear. These are some hoops. These look like they're in good condition. It is a two and a half inch hoop. They'll just be a dollar. Um, we have that huge earring, which is quite unique. I'm trying to see if it was marked. I don't see any markings on it. I think we have the match. We do. Now, they have some like wear. So those can be a craft a dollar. Okay, so that is my box. Oh, and then we have this little adjustable bracelet. Okay. I was able to find the little end pieces. So it's an adjustable, they're little star shaped pearls. Let's just do $3 on the little pearls. All right, and then we had um, this that is going to craft. And then we have that, it's going to craft. We have this hoop earring. We have the stunning earring, which I don't know if we got the match or not, but that is stunning. I think we had the match to that. And then our last piece is this necklace that is also going to craft a dollar. So that is my box. Um, I'm going to match up the earrings really quickly and I'll be right back. All right, we got a ton of matched earrings, which is really exciting. Um, first, I'm going to start off with things that aren't earrings, though. So this was like, I think, a lipstick or a cigarette. I'm not really sure. That's craft. Um, but this is a little wine bottle, like hand holding a wine bottle. That'll just be a dollar. It's a little lapel pen, a little enameled pen. That's a dollar. Okay, next let's start off with these little kitty cat earrings. Those are also going to be a dollar. I think I already gave a price on these big hoops. Um, let's see. Next are these like lucite little blue earrings. Those will just be a dollar. Next, we have these little green huggy hoops. So just be a dollar. It's like a little twisted braided chain. These, I believe, are the Sanctuary Project. Um, I've had them new on the card before. They look exactly like this. Let's do five dollars. Let's do four. Four dollars for these little hoops. These are very on trend. These little matte gold tone puffy hoops are everywhere and they are about three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch. And let's do four dollars on the sanctuary. These I'm going to Google Lens just to make sure they're not like, you know, real Scaparelli or something. But they are very interesting and I will have a price on the screen hopefully. Um, these give me major... J. Crew vibes, and they are marked with just a single rhinestone in the back, so they could be. Um, let's do three dollars on these little earrings. Three bucks. We have these little itty bitty strawberry studs. Those are just a dollar. These are little itty bitty um gold puffy hearts. They are gold tone. Those are just the two dollars. Next, we have these little green bows. Those will just be a dollar. We have these little red bows. These ones are adorable. Ah, there he is. These ones are adorable. Let's just do a dollar. These are awesome. These are, again, two, two in ones. So you can wear them as just a stud or you open it up and it is an um in, like an ear cuff that you can take on and off and you can make them um longer or shorter there's like three different um 
no lengths on it. Depends on how like how small on um, how tight or how close you want them to your ear. So let's just do those ones for two dollars. Um, these ones we are gonna do. They are they do evolve at stones or a stone. Um, three dollars for these gorgeous like turquoise enameled ones. These ones are mother of pearl. So those ones are really pretty. Um, they might have a tiny bit of wear. Tiny bit. Um, let's do $3 on those because those ones are just so pretty. I love Mother Pearl. Um, these are very unique. Um, they're very, I think Chanel did a bunch of these type of earrings. Um, Loft did a bunch of these earrings. J. Crew did a lot of these earrings. Um, they probably are like a J. Crew or a Loft. Let's do, um, let's just do $3 on those. Those are interesting. These are very pastel. So like if you want to do boho, but for Easter, this would be perfect Easter earrings. Let's just do $3 for those. Very pastel. We have these earrings. They are like an antique matte silver tone. So they have like some light discoloration. Um, we'll do $3 for those. These are probably alpaca. They're not marked anything, but they look like alpaca. Let's just do $3 for those. These have a faceted black stone. And I don't think any other markings. Actually, they think they might be marked on the post. They're marked with a rhinestone, so they're probably loft. They are a gray tassel with a faceted black bead at the top. And again, I think these are loft, but let's just do $3 on those. We have these little faux pearl half hoops. They're like an ear threader. Those ones are just $2. These are stunning. These I'm going to have to do a little bit more research on before I give a price. They are very Bollywood, very um, just beautiful. I love these. I think they might be jade. I will test them. Let's test them. I think they might be jade. No, it's not going anything. It's not moving at all. But um, let's do $10 on these. I think they're stunning. Let's do $10 on those. Um, we have these little ear crawlers. Let's just make sure they're not marked. They're not. Let's do $2 for these little ear crawlers. Little pave rhinestones. We have these little Doctor Who studs. Let's do those for $2. We have these that, um, have some wear. So these will be craft. We have these like very textured gold tone hoops. They are probably about an inch or so. Yep. They're an inch, just, just a hair over an inch. Let's do $3 for these textured gold hoops. Um, these are little faux pearl hoop um, studs. Let's just do a dollar. Um, these are stunning. These give me Chanel vibes. So it's like a quilted silver tone hoop no markings but let's just do three dollars for them those are awesome love that design okay then we have these um spiders let's just do a dollar we have these that are probably anthropology these ones i might google lens they might be chan lu even um I'm going to Google Lens those and have a price on the screen. I just thought it. I was like, man, these kind of look like Chan Lu too. Um, and guys, um, someone asked, a couple people asked, why well, put IDK and then a price or price and then IDK? IDK stands for I don't know. So it just means I don't know what the brand is. So that's why I put IDK up. It means I don't know what they are. Um, these are marked 925. So we will test those. See if they're silver. And then, of course, these we are also going to test for silver. And then, of course, the little studs. Um, little pearl studs. 
that look like real pearls. So we are going to test our silver. Those were all of our earrings, which were a ton, actually, guys. Um, and of course, we had the ones that I already gave a price on. So those, the stars, the cat's eye, and then the really cool boho. So lots of earrings. I love getting earrings. Okay, um, let's test. Let's get out our testing acid. We already tested the Tiffany necklace that we're unsure of the Tiffany bracelet that glue up like a glow stick. So I'm like 99% sure, like, this is heavy. That's a lot of sterling, even if it's not Tiffany, it's a lot of sterling. Um, we have a bracelet that is marked Young Love, which again, I'm not familiar with that. All right, guys, um, I went ahead and tested everything. So we have some mixed results. So this bracelet, the bracelet part here, this embossed part, and the clasp test for silver, but the chain, so the chain part and the little heart do not. Only the chain or only the metal and the clasp. So that's a little interesting. Then the pearls, um, it looks like they did test. So that's good. Um, the little heart earrings tested. Um, I will have a price on the screen for the little hearts. And then these were crazy. Um, so... <laughs> The ear wires, I don't think the ear wires are, um, oh, they are marked. The ear wires are marked something, but the little strawberries, the little strawberries are marked James Avery. I don't know how I missed the logo. Well, I know how I missed the logo. It's tiny. Um, but there is the little... Calabar, Cal the little candlestick that um, he uses as his maker's mark. That's James Avery. So we have little James Avery dangle earrings. That is crazy. And the strawberries did test for sterling. These hoops did not test for sterling, surprisingly. I am going to test them for gold. Um, so that's interesting. These did not test for sterling as well. So if anyone wants these, we'll just do $2 on them. Um, this did not test for sterling, but these are real pearls. And that is marked, so I'll have to do some research. This is Pandora. So this is great. This all tested. So the chain and the pendant, which was diamonds, by the way, guys, um, all tested for sterling. This ring tested for sterling. This little size, I think five and a half ring. Yeah, five and a half ring Tessa for sterling. And the Ch the Chan Lu Tessa for sterling. And of course, the um, James Avery tested for sterling. So guys, this was an insane box. Absolutely insane. And not just in sterling. Um, This Banana Republic bracelet was stunning. Okay, the... J. Crew necklace was stunning. We got a bunch of name brands like Ginny Bird, Pandora, James Avery, and then of course the um, hopefully real Tiffany bracelet, and then I'm not sure Tiffany necklace. So absolutely insane, insane, insane box. Um, but that is everything. I love. I love this lot so much. Even if the Tiffany isn't Tiffany, I think this was a great box. Please give this video a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Please leave a comment. Please hit that subscribe. And by the way, guys, we hit 3K subs. So I will be doing a 3K giveaway coming soon. So hopefully I will have my little details ironed out and I will have a for sure plan on what that will be. So thank you guys for everything. Please like, please comment, and please subscribe. Bye, guys.